Oh, dude. How am I going to keep my cynical internet street cred if I keep reviewing awesome games? I'm going to be super lame happy boy in like one more review. I don't know, Fallout 76 has to come out with an expansion or something. All right, unsurprisingly, I'm going to give this a really uh, good review. And I'll come straight out and just say, yeah, this is Game Candy. Not Game Candy Light, which I discussed a lot in my last Spyro review, but Game Candy proper. This is literally Mario quality game candy. But let me explain why. Let's, let's start at the beginning. While the leap in platformers from 2D to 3D was really awesome, especially right out of the gate with Mario 64, there was an inherent issue that Miyamoto and Nintendo came up against when translating a platform into 3D. And it's that even though it's 3D, it's not stereoscopic 3D. It's 2D 3D or flat 3D. あ、マリオ60本は立体になったことで亀を踏みにくくなった。で、あの、けどそれでも踏める人は面白いように作ったんですけど、ま、その頃から踏むことよりもっと他の要素をゲームの中心にしていったんですね。確かにそうですね。足
I'm gonna get you. Hang in there, little bitch. Oh, it's just, oh God. I, it's hard to explain to people, you know, outside of VR, especially those who have not used VR. And uh, look, I'm not gonna make this review a discussion about why, you know, most people were wrong about VR in the, you know, overly cynical naysayer anger days when it first came out. I'm gonna save the why everyone was wrong about VR for another video. Looking around for secrets, like literally looking around, it's just something that, oh, n no game's ever gotten like this before. I was kind of hoping Mario would be the first to get there, you know? Nintendo's usually the one to innovate, do everything first, and everyone else copies them. But this time, Sony got there first. I gotta hand it to them. I mean, yeah, Oculus and Vive came out first, but god damn, this is the first really good one, you know what I mean? Looks and plays great. It's not some 15-minute title like everyone pretends is all that's available for PSVR. I mean, it's impossible to play this and not look forward to future Mario VR. Not later this year when there's like a Switch Plus, which will just be like, you know, mid-console generation upgrade just so I can finally play Hyrule Warriors at a lock 60. But after that, the Switch 2 or whatever, which will inevitably be VR compatible. I did admittedly two years ago try playing Mario Galaxy 2 in VR. I did all the modding I could. I'm not really a programmer. In the end, I just ended up with a barely stereoscopic headache because, uh, yeah, you got to know what you're doing, which is one of the things I love about PSVR, frankly. I don't got to do shit. I put it on my head. Boom. Done. On the PC side of things, I'd mostly use the VR for, uh, you know, research purposes. But yeah, uh, God, how many different ways can I compliment this shit without giving stuff away? The use of the DualShock 4 is pretty good. It's got a bunch of varied uses, which are like whole games in and of themselves. And again, I don't want to show too much, but it's just, oh man. Keep in mind, like, I started playing video games in 1987 with Super Mario, and in all the years since, this is the first Mario quality platformer that didn't have Mario's name in it. There's been a lot of Game Candy light, but all the 3D platforming Game Candy has always had Mario's name on it. Took 32 fucking years, but uh, someone, someone did it. And uh, it's gonna be an interesting transition going from this adorable goodness into the uh, next review. Kemper Award, because everyone liked her in that thing she was in, so she gets her own show, and it's great. Da, you fucking adorable. Mwah. Nom, 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 nom. Hang in there, little bitch.